Hello everyone, this is Prachi and we are here for the first episode of Back to College and we have Stuti with us. Hi Stuti. Hi Prachi. Hi everyone. So Stuti, welcome back to the college again. Thank you so much. And how does it feel like to be here? Amazing. Like visiting college after good five years, uh, recording all those memories, it's been nostalgia for me and uh, seeing the development, uh, it's you know pretty jealous feeling also for me oh that uh, the college has grown so much so it's some experience for me. You can come any time, it's your college too. Sure, so sure. Right now you're with HCL Technologies. Correct. What was your specialization? So I did the uh, do specialization in uh, HR and marketing with four as HR. Oh, that's nice. I heard you were, you were the topper of your batch. Yes, correct. That's nice. And uh, talking about your uh, career journey, so how it feels like it's been five years. Correct. So you started with which company and how you have grown in your life? So it was my campus placement. I was into retail initially and uh, since I got two placements, I chose uh, later one which was manufacturing. Though never thought of uh, landing up into a manufacturing role from a services management background. But yes, uh, it was uh, a roller coaster journey for me. I have spent good three years of my career with that organization and then moved uh, to one of the big four for uh, Oracle and Workday. So I worked with PWC for uh, Oracle and Workday, both of the technologies. And then today I am working with uh, HCL for their latest line of business as uh, HR employee partner. So uh, I believe within just five uh, years, I have learned all the industries, how the you know industries work and how HR can contribute to the growth of any of the organization. So like working for five years and switching companies, so you must have gained that knowledge how to work in corporate life, how to tackle those situations because students going to corporate life from MBA, sometimes they uh, are not able to compete, sometimes they feel that what should we do next. So do you want to give yes, that so any that, advice? Uh, being corporate ready is uh, the main mantra and for that mantra you need to have uh, a good exposure while you are in the college so that life projects and the internships that are being provided I think nothing better opportunity than that because it will somehow give you a corporate exposure already. So uh, my advice would be that try to explore yourself in more of the life projects, enroll yourself in as many uh, programs you can, as many network sessions you can because that will help you, you know, build up your confidence that okay you can perform any challenge that may come up in your corporate journey. So what was your fun element during your college life? What you used to do? So see, uh, since it was a uh, pre-pandemic situation, I am from back 16, 18, the life was completely different. We were more into, you know, outgoing uh, activities. We had those uh, volleyball courts and everything. So our uh, most of the time was spent either uh, interacting with LMNI sitting in the libraries that we have or maybe exploring places nearby or uh, at times when uh, we had nothing to do then we used to go and uh, have certain events for uh, one of uh, one or the other uh, you know uh, area that we had there were different different clubs so we used to organize certain events uh, within that club only so that you know everyone is being engaged and not feeling lonely because there have been diversity and there have been people from various uh, regions so you know to have that uh, connect and uh, build up a family uh, we were quite engaged all the time so you were associated with clubs and comedy correct so Which i was uh, part of student association and uh, also hr club i would like to know who was your favorite professor or anything a word of so, it <laughs> you know uh, all the faculties were my favorite honestly I you couldn't, were their favorite, uh, I would say. It, it was uh, vice versa as well. So it was mutual to be honest. Yes. Uh, I cannot name one because uh, all of them have contributed to what I am today. I cannot be biased to any one of them. They are, uh, you know, uh, not just my faculty, they are uh, mentor, they, they are my god because of them I have uh, been able to build my profile in this direction so I will not be able to justify <laughs> to any one of them. Before joining MBA, what were your background, like a little background about what you So did? I was a BCom graduate with uh, just a thought that okay I will be going for HR with no further idea or track that how I will be landing up what I'll be landing up into 
but yet with uh, before joining this college i uh, spoke to some of the faculty spoke to the admission cell and a few of the seniors and understood that okay this college uh, would be the best choice for me because it will give me exposure or holistic exposure so that's how i landed up with so you were sure like uh, you were going for hr and marketing i was like, sure for hr not for marketing though but uh, sooner i understood that okay uh, those course uh, outlines and everything made me decide that yes i'll be going for hr and marketing because okay, the student when come to mba college for the first year they are not able to decide which field to choose till the time they go for internship i believe yes you are uh, truly right on that part even uh, during my uh, you know my batch i believe there were students who were in the second year still couldn't uh, uh finalize if they are going in the right direction or not so yes it happens it's very uh, common and it's completely uh, taken that people have this thought that i am not sure if i'm going in the right direction so uh, that is the reason i gave this suggestion that you need to be very clear with your thoughts what you want and not what the organization or what your other friend is going because people generally look for either a good package or a good location but i would just go for a good profile it respect over what package you are going because money will follow once you are into it because uh, if you are working for the right profile you will be able to flourish but definitely if it is just the money at some point you will fall down right do you still have your friends like connected to them uh i have my friends my juniors my seniors that's how the alumni team works so uh this alumni team only helped me come back to the college so yes definitely we are all uh, linked till date so first i'll ask like uh, as i well, you already told me what was your fun element and what you used to do during your college time so which was your favorite place apart from lounge and library i would say that's our uh, my favorite place i would say okay so honestly we were uh, quite restrictive in that part we were not very lucky because we had uh, just few corners one was canteen and other was the student lounge newly built student lounge which was depicting all the nearby things even the uh, outside the uh, tea stall also was depicted as a visualization it is a fond memory for me so my favorite was canteen or either student lounge because that was a new attraction for all of the students and you were a day scholar yes i was a day scholar so you had a limited time to enjoy the college right there is a myth i would say people think hr is only for girls so yes. would you like to say something on that sure. so i'll uh, answer to it in two ways one is uh, how hr why hr and secondly um, as an hr what uh, suggestions i can give to the students so to answer the first thing that uh, this myth is a myth honestly there are people uh, there are men who are leading as heads of hr even my manager is a male person and he's from army background so i don't think that uh, hr is just for uh, females only it is uh, not gender biased anymore so is any other domain be it marketing so women are excelling in any of the domain so we should not be gender biased in any domain secondly uh, hr is no more transactional activity or transactional domain hr is the backbone of any organization it was the backbone it still is the backbone hr has completely transformed we are business driven we do not work in silos we are not that rangoli making <laughs> yeah. people anymore so for us the engagement post pandemic has completely changed it is it has become virtual engagements connecting uh, across continents connecting with uh, all the you know leads all the employees at one forum and uh, to give a suggestion to people from the hr standpoint i would say that uh, hr do not judge uh, just your knowledge but also uh, your thought process also how uh, corporate ready you are so when i say corporate ready it also includes your personality the way you carry yourself so the smallest things matter a lot so one thing uh, for interview prep also that uh, be confident have a thorough read of the organization you are uh, sitting for and you will definitely excel also uh, drive your interview the way you want because uh, that's how the hr would make a perception that okay this candidate can be suited for a particular profile 
because yeah if you give them a chance they would ask something that you don't know so you yes. need to drive that conversation that right that way do you want to give any advice to the current batch or the coming students so really so uh, the moment i entered the college i could uh, you know recall all those memories there and i was getting some advice feedback suggestions and everything so one uh, major feedback or a major suggestion from my end to all the uh, students across the campuses or across the batches would be that be very particular with your profile with the kind of uh, you know career you want to grow do not just go with the flow that okay my friend is going into this to me i should choose that be specific what you want and not what your uh, friend is doing so do you have any message or any suggestion for them because it's the placement season going on so uh sharing my experience i was the topper but i was the last person to be placed one of the last person so i got placed uh, just weeks before my uh, convocation i don't think that uh, you should one should have that uh, you know mindset that i need to be placed first because your career is not a short term thing it is a long term so think before whatever you are uh, deciding go for the profile sit for the interviews but do not sit with the mindset that uh, whatever i'll get i'll take it have an understanding and then only choose uh, the domain or the profile you are planning up to because uh what if you go into an organization and within a month you decide that i am not fine with this that uh job fitment is very much important so before joining any organization go through the jds understand take the feedbacks and then only choose your uh, i guess this is a really important message because that it is right that the students at the end they go in hurry or that hassle that i need to get placed because they there is some competition that my friend has been placed yeah, i am exactly. not placed what if i don't the, that placed. fear or the pressure makes them apply in some college so. are always there to help you out with the placement but do not restrict yourself to college only you can apply off campus you can apply via alumni you have a lot of options do not restrict yourself with the college itself college are doing their responsibility you need to do your responsibility i guess that's well. the best part of jaipur yeah to have that network over like the long time even yes. if you pass out so Sorry. that's the best part but thank you for the insight thank i'll so definitely much. pass on this message thank to my friends